I want to share with you 10 reasons to not be in despair in the midst of adversity. Or to put it another way, it could be 10 reasons to experience joy in the midst of trouble and hardship. And the first reason is God loves us and he welcomes us into relationship with him. The love of God is really greater than we could ever grasp. It is amazing, it is incredible, and it is most supremely expressed in, in the work of Jesus, in him coming to this earth, in him living an incredible life, and ultimately in him being willing to allow himself to be taken and nailed to a cross and face the punishment and the cruel torture of that situation. And I just want to read some verses from, from Romans 5, um, which express something of that. When we were utterly helpless, with no way of escape, Christ came at just the right time and died for us sinners who had no use for him. Even if we were good, we really wouldn't expect anyone to die for us. Though of course we might, it might be barely possible. But God showed us his great love for us by sending Christ to die for us while we were still sinners. Amazing. When we were still his enemies, when we were against him, when we were in rebellion against him, he is willing to give his life for us. He loves us that much. And again, in, uh, in Romans 3, it says, yes, all have sinned, all fall short of God's glorious ideal. Yet now God declares us not guilty of offending him if we trust in Jesus Christ, who in his kindness freely takes away our sin. For God sent Christ Jesus to take the punishment for our sin and to end all God's anger against us. He, is, he has dealt with our biggest problem. We have many challenges and many struggles and many problems in life, but this is the, this is the big deal that we can't deal with ourselves. That our, our sin and our rebellion against God, there is no other alternative, there is no other possibility. Many seek lots of other avenues, but it's only in Jesus and only in his death on the cross that we can find freedom and hope and joy in relationship with God because he forgives us, he makes us right with God he welcomes us into his family, adopts us as his children, and we can come close to him and enjoy being with him every day because of what Jesus has done for us, because of this incredible expression of love. He gives himself so fully and, and so freely. It truly is amazing, God's love for us. And he, the fact that he adopts us as his own, he calls us from us being his enemies to now being not just his friends, but being adopted into his family. It is incredible it's truly amazing but it's important that we accept it and we receive it it's no just no good at just being theory just some theoretical idea some religious ideal this is real reality relationship that we can walk in every day and he calls us into that relationship he calls us to believe in what he has done for us to accept it and receive it and if we have done that there is great joy we are released from the burden of our guilt released from the burden of our shame, released from the burden of our sin. We are free. We have freedom with God. We have a relationship with him. That is one great reason to not be in despair in the midst of adversity, because we are now right with God if we have received his forgiveness for us.